Hey, what's up, tubers? This is Superdale, and today I got another video for you. Maybe you heard, maybe you haven't, that Walmart is doing it big, guys. Uh, pretty much all the devices have an update that's taking it all the way from Android 11, 12, on up to Android 14. All right? So in today's video, I'm going to do the full walkthrough of this install and so we're going to get into it right now i'm currently going to use the on 4k pro and i will show you that now when i go up here to the top when i get the right remote rather and go to the top and i will show you that now all right so let's go on over here and again if you got the on 4k plus or you got the on 4k uh, streaming box you should be good to go all right so i go into system about and you see it right there 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 it is right there all right and you see the model so right there with that you see it running android tv os version this is running android 12 all right when you click on it you see it right there all right so this icon should change after this update so let's go ahead and get the party started now if it if you don't see a prompt the way to get to it is to go over to settings click settings go down here to system go to the right go to about go to the right and then you got system update is right there is highlighted click on it and it's checking for the update and there it is right there you see it's system update ready download and verified you see it's almost a gig guys so make sure depending on your device all right before you do it back up everything so if you got some applications uh you got some some type of files on here that could potentially get deleted um before you do this Back up everything, all right? Back up, back up, back up. You can use a flash drive, and then you can use send anywhere, and you can just send, put send anywhere on this device, or file share, wherever you use, any type of sharing, um, Android sharing app. Share it, send it to your PC, send it to your smartphone, send it to your tablet, all right? So now... Let's just go ahead and click install. But before we do that, you see it says updated Android OS to version 14. Security patch level updated and minor bug fixes. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. Let's see how long this takes in real time. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, guys. Hopefully. All right. Hopefully. And so, again, it's just an update. Um, what more can you say? But the good thing is so many people got this thing about AI, you know, and the, the picture quality. I'm assuming it should be coming to this device, all right, with it running Android 14. So we'll see in another video on that. So right now it's still going through. It looked like it's probably at almost a quarter, um, you know, downloading this one, almost one gig a byte of um, operating system on here. So they skipping 13, they going straight to 14. All right. So with that being said, while we're on here, if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe to the channel. We talk about everything, anything that, comes up with streaming we talk about it that's just what it is we are hands-on we are honest uh we talk about some of the most expensive one you know streaming devices all the way down to the least expensive so we don't discriminate on here all right let's see where we're at all right so we're nearly almost halfway there okay we're getting there and so, again, subscribe to the channel. Definitely 
um, share this video to some of y'all Facebook groups and other groups on social media. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon. If you hit that bell icon, you can select all that way. Anytime I go live or I drop a video on YouTube, you will get notified. All right, let's see where we're at. All right, so we're more than halfway there. And this is what we do, guys. We are hands on. We don't, you know, cut. I know the video may be a little longer, um, but we do not cut. While we're talking, waiting on that, this device here, guys, I can't stress enough. If you haven't saw my videos on this, all right, this is the Zoe Tech, all right, as you see right there. And I'm just coming from work. So, again, you see the Zoe Tech. Man, this is a bad boy. I will leave the description of where you can purchase this bad boy. This bad boy allows you to share using VLC. Um, you can you can mix Android onto Apple TV, and you can mix Apple TV to an Android device using this um, this gadget right here, man. And again, all right. So it's called Zoe Tech. I done done a few videos on it. All right. And then on the other side, you can record on it. You can do all of that. All right. You can record. Uh, you can uh, stream. You can play back. You can do all of that on there. So, again, so we, it looks like we are pretty much at almost 100%. So it looked like it's about to go through step two. And again, we're going to update this on 4K Pro from Android 12 to 14. And we're going to make sure everything works. So now it's telling me to install now, restart your device. So I'm going to click the OK button to restart. And I'm going to keep this screen on to see exactly what it's going to do. Hopefully it does not mess up, but we will see. There we have it. We have the on logo man it has been these last few weeks has been really really good um for the on streaming devices that you can purchase at walmart i know walmart is going through this new uh phase where they are um they have some boxes some only thing they got some the, the color of the boxes, so it looked like they're getting away from that lime green and kind of toning it down to like the blue boxes with a little bit of red and white things like that. I think that's pretty cool. All right, so we got the Google TV. All right, and we're waiting and waiting. And again, you can follow through with it straight forward. And as long as everything runs smooth, I will have no problem with it. And so also, um, if you want to catch me live, um, I go live on Mondays and Fridays. Every now and then, depending on the situation, I go live on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a Saturday, a Sunday. But it got to, it has to be something that's worthy. All right. But I do go live Mondays and Fridays. I try to get on around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or no later than like 7.15. All right. Eastern Standard Time. So you have to remember that. So it looked like the update is taking a little bit of time, but it looked like we, we're getting somewhere. We got the black screen. So we just waiting and waiting. All right, here we go. We have action. All right. So like I would say, always give your device up to a minute, up to a minute to get everything going. All right. 
because you have apps running in the background and it says finishing system updates. So let's wait about a minute and then we can go and see if it updated. Hopefully I have not yet picked up the remote. I do have it right here. So I'm not touching anything yet. All right. So we're going to give it like a good 30 more seconds and just let, you know, uh, everything update in the background before I move anything. And so, again, um, we're just waiting and waiting and waiting. All right? I think we waited. Has it been about a minute? I think we waited long enough. All right? So, um, everything is moving. It do seem a little sluggish at first. All right? It did seem just a little bit sluggish. At first. All right. So you see that like it, 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 it's ticking a little bit, but uh, I probably just got to go. All right. So it, it seems like the more I use it, the more it's getting better. All right. Which is a good thing. All right. Now it's telling me to update the remote. So I'm going to update the remote. Maybe y'all may, it may come up and tell you to update your remote as well. And so once you update it, you, if you look at your remote, you will get the red dot. That means it's being disabled and it's updating. And then once it's done, it should go back to normal. All right. And you will see that red dot on the remote go off. All right. So it's, all right, so it seems like it's, it's moving very well, all right? At least, in my opinion, compared to when we first got it going, it was a little bit, like it was a little bit stuck a little bit, but we're good. Let's go over here to the settings, okay? To hit settings. First thing we want to do, go to system, right? Let me go down here to developer's options. And let me just see. You may have this. You may not. I just want to make sure nothing has changed in the background. All right. So everything, my animation is off. Develop, everything is good. Okay. All right. So let me go up here. Let's go to about. All right. And here it is right here. We got Android 14. Let me click on this bad boy. And there you have it. Right there okay it seems like everything is running all right and again i am on the on 4k pro you might be on the on 4k streaming device you may be on the on 4k plus which just it got released what two weeks ago or something like that all right let's make sure at least um the hands-free speaker work on here hey google Go to YouTube. And I'm sorry if I set some of y'all devices off. Okay? All right? So everything seems to be working. All right? Everything seems to be working. And that's, just, that's what we want. Okay? So it looked like it's working. Everything is, is moving very, very smooth. Okay? Very, very smooth. I'm not complaining. All right? I think we are good to go on here. All right, guys, if you have any questions or any other suggestions, just leave it in the comments. I'll see them, um, and then we'll go from there. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to this channel. Also, share this video if you've got some groups. Also, click that bell notification and select all. All right, I am up out of here, guys. Thank you for watching how to update. You're on 4K streaming devices, all right? We are now on Android 14, which is a good thing. But again, I should have more videos since everybody is looking at Android 14 and this AI feature that if you play like something like 720, it'll make it look like 1080p. And if you're playing like 1080p, it can get near 4K. We'll see. All right, it's nothing like the original video, the raw footage, things like that, all right? Can't get 
no better than that. All right, guys, salute. Thank you all for watching the video. This is Super Dale, and I am out.